Hello students, in today's class we will be discussing the principle of deviation. Now in order to know what is deviation, we must know what is meant by base. Now by base we refer to any power of 10. So it can be 10 or 100 or 1000 and so on. But for our, for us we will only be considering base 10 for now. So we are not going to use the other bases for now. Now deviation of a number is simply the difference between a number and its base. That is for us it is only 10. So difference between a number and base. Now since it is the difference between a number and the base, we can write it down as a formula also. So we can say deviation is equal to number minus the base. Now since it is the difference between the two quantities, what if a number is bigger than the base? No problem at all, we will be getting a positive result. But if the number is smaller and the base is bigger, then we will be getting a negative result. That means deviation can be both negative and positive. Now when is it positive? When the number is bigger than the base and it is negative when the number is smaller than the base. So we can finding deviation is very simple. All we need to do is the number minus the base. So let us solve this question that I have for you here. We have to write the deviation of the following numbers on base 10. So we have the numbers given and we also have the base given. So our work becomes much simpler. Now for 14, so we want the deviation of 14. Now deviation of 14 is equal to number minus the base. So number is 14 and base has been given as 10. So 14 minus 10 that is equal to 4. And let's move on to the bit B. Here we have 7. So deviation of 7 is equal to number that is 7 minus base that is equal to 10. So 7 minus 10 gives us minus 3. So minus 3 here is the deviation. Now going back to what we just discussed, we have seen that a deviation can be positive and negative or negative. So when number is greater than the base, 14 greater than 10, therefore we have a positive deviation. Number smaller than the base gives a negative deviation. 7 smaller than 10 gives us negative deviation minus 3. Now let us move on to bit C and find the deviation there. So deviation of 19 is equal to number 19 minus the base 10 that is equal to 9. Here the deviation is positive. Now if we look closely for example let us look at the deviation of 7. Now we just found that the deviation of 7 is equal to minus 3. Now what is the parameter of 7? Now parameter of 7 is equal to 10 minus 3 that is equal to plus 3. Now if we compare these two values we see that deviation can be called as negative of parameter or parameter is negative of deviation. So we conclude that deviation of a number is equal to negative of the parameter, its parameter. negative of its parameter. Thus we can now use this formula here and find the deviation of any given number.